fucking lane high and low to get me that you're gonna need that win in the race. Man, I'm so pumped for this path. What a what a great race we got going on. It's all you look through the field, you're looking for a better guy that's gonna take your
best day of my life. That was awesome. Hey, give me a high five. All right. Come on, buddy. Watch out. Watch out. Come on. Me too. I, I was looking at the speedometer. We were doing 160 miles an hour around that curve down there. I couldn't move my arms. They were, they were stuck. Locked <laughs> in? Yeah. I was like, get the camera higher. Oh no, my arms are stuck. Did you see? Yeah. Put that seat in there for you? You should put you on that seat. That way you can see better. I can see good enough. Okay. Maybe 50 or 100 RPM stuff. So obviously the second practice guys even went a little faster, but uh, I don't I don't think it goes with a lot of training them at that little Yeah, yeah, and they have these five in the wind tunnel NASCAR has been that stuff. They probably see the same thing as the auto change will get there and uh see everybody with it. Did you like it, Logan? Yeah, I was in the front seat. He was filming. Hey, man, that's a trip. He does all that. And they told him we were all close to the same speed. Oh, wait, we got one driver in the back. Oh, wait, we got one driver in the back. Oh, wait, we got one driver in the back. Oh, wait, we got one driver in the back. Oh, wait, we got one driver in the back. Oh, wait, we got one driver in the back. Oh, wait, we got one driver in the back. Oh, wait, we got one driver in the back. Today, you're going to see guys catch a car in front, they're going to shut that guy out, and he's going to come back and come on. Yeah, last, oh, so, the interesting part is right now, we're going to see the driver. Now we can see the driver. We already got it. We 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 got it. A hot rod that runs on uh, the set model. Yeah, I would yeah, I'll, I'll be like third, I think. You know, I, I think prior to this rules package, and that's a great question, I think you wanted to be out front because you could block those lanes. When I won here in 2013, it's a little back straightaway, and I was able to just kind of back and forth. But I think today, I've got the jury goal to see a last lap pass because the leader does not have the clear advantage. Uh, there's so much drag on that front car. The second, third, fourth place guys, they are going to have such a huge run. So, this old man's tired of walking. Don't lean on me, man. That would be like second or third. That would be. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it will be. Yeah, yeah. Don't fall asleep today. Yeah. <laughs> this gentleman right snuck in the bed with you, Brad. Is it? Oh, man. We'll get about 4.8. A little, little, little under five miles to the gallon. About like your semi truck gets. Yes. Yeah. What does it get? Like six or seven? Ten. Ten. <laughs> I didn't realize it gets that much. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You, you start getting, yeah, y'all are governed to probably that. You start running by 80 and it won't get that much. <laughs> They got they have one over there. A pace car they don't strategy those stages but they will guys stop early when they're in the window but it's got a four twenty and on the speed dial it says two hundred and forty miles an hour. She didn't want to go? I told you, sure, I got the old gauge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can generally trust it. Yeah, 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 you can generally trust it. Uh, but, but, yeah, I mean, if we can't win, I want another Ford Mustang to win. That's okay. But, uh, I just got to get day, the shade. I'll try to work with whoever I can. But I feel comfortable that they can help me out. So. This gentleman with the orange ball cap right here. Um, I was down here and uh, 
I think is the coolest drive I've ever seen comes through the stage. Yeah, it's, it's a lot Carlos easier to break that bubble. Those and, are little you know, boys. It's hard to, to vision, probably but it's minutes. almost like when that car is going around there. the track, it does create a little, little, little low pressure bubble in, in that area. With the, and the he had the head of the wheel helmet, too. And uh, before, you just didn't have the momentum to get into there. Before you could hit the car in front of you, it almost created a different pressure. You would push that car in front, but now, you can get through that so easy, so it is a lot different. Yeah. You know, we only had two or three hours of time to practice this, so we did all day to school here a little bit. I mean, I think it will be a little bit more of those first no, 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 I understand. I I don't have like it. My wife is going to go to a two I go with two eggs. I go with two eggs. I go with two eggs. Where can that get the pass? Yeah. Oh, I okay. think you want to try to pass somewhere, you know, coming out of turn four or through the trouble. Because if you get side by side too early, then those third, fourth, fifth place cars are going to have a big head steam coming. So, um, yeah, you don't want to go too early, but you can't wait too late. But I, I would say, yeah, somewhere through the trouble, yeah, before the trouble and turn four. All right, a two part question. Okay. 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 You know, they have the engine temperatures, they have the exhaust, you know, the great temperatures off. You know, it's hot when these cars, and it's all in the big hat. And so, in other tracks, you want to ride it, 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 all training to the you got a date? Okay. Okay. Well, like, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. That's okay. We'll see y'all uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Make, make sure y'all clear the race track, the track before the race starts. So. Don't drop any mails out there. Unless it's for the two years. This place is all about situational awareness, 
Um, it really is. You hear us talk about it a lot, but it really is a high speed chess match. Um, you know, you're, you're constantly thinking and evaluating your next move and how that next move is going to affect the next move after that. Um, and, and you're you just you're always you're always looking. Uh, I don't know, maybe 35, 40% out of your windshield, and about 60% out of your rearview your mirror. And, and you just, you're always trying to put yourself in the right position to get the right run at the right time to, to get to the front. And, and, you know, a lot of times in the past, we've seen the race kind of be controlled by the leader. And it was always best to be the lead car. But I think with this new rules package, I, I think it's an unknown. I don't know. It, it still no, might be that way. I mean, I'm going to certainly try and lead the most laps and win the race. But um, you just don't know if you can control the race and control the runs from each line uh, like we used to be able to. Sign the yellow right here. Oh, he's going to defer to the young man. Crucial is it to be first off pit road at Talladega for the restart? Yeah, so that's a great question. You know, I think in in I a little bit to the same answer. In the years past, it was always really important to have track position and, and be up front, and, and you could really control the race um, being up front, and, and you could manage the lines behind you, and and you were really um, you know. You were really in control of the race. You were, you were hard to pass when you were the leader, especially if you had a fast race car. Um, but now I just don't know. I, I think I think track position will still be important because you know I feel like the cars are more stable. Um, we're, we're able to be more aggressive and more racy. So I think that that's going to allow the cars to get more three wide. And when cars are three wide, it's really hard to pass, right? If you're on the interstate and there's three lanes of traffic and all three lanes are going the same speed, you can't pass. You can't unless you go into the emergency lane. You can't pass anybody. So, um, and and you know, I think same thing here. I I, I think uh, track position will be important, but for different reasons. Used to it was because you could control the race. Now I think it's because it's going to get three wide all the way through the pack. And, and if you're further back in the pack, you're just not going to have anywhere to go. So getting off pit road is important. Getting on pit road is important too. And a lot of times I'm down at the turn four and during the stop. Getting on the pit is very important and challenging here. Describe to the fans what it takes to get during a green flag run onto pit road. What yeah, it so it's, like. it's really challenging. One of, one of the things that we you know put into speedway cars to, to help them go fast is to is to reduce the it's the rotating weight. You know, that if you take and, and, and make the brakes and, and everything lighter that rotates, it will accelerate and go faster. So we show up here to the speedways with really, really small brake packages because we don't use the brakes. Most of the way around the racetrack while we're racing, we don't use the brakes. So we don't have big, grippy, a lot of stopping power um, in the brakes. So you take a... Uh, 30, 400 pound race car going 200 miles an hour with not that great of brakes and try and slow it down to 55 mile an hour in a very short distance from the time you come off turn four so you have to get to pit road speed um, at the beginning of pit road. It is a challenge. And it's one place to watch. You know, pit stops are coming. A lot of the action happens down there. Unfortunately, yeah. we see a lot of guys end up spinning out because yep. it is so challenging. This young man right here in the yellow. Yeah, that's a great question, but I think I think it's a little bit of an unknown until we get out there in race condition today. Um, you know, we practiced with, with that way um, on Friday, and, and I think that the, the cars are just so much faster in the drag. By themselves, because we have more downforce and more drag, the cars are slower. Um, but when we get in a draft and you reduce the, the, the drag on the car, we have 150 more horsepower. So the cars go way faster without without the drag on the car. So I think it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. The one thing that I noticed the most was that the runs come really fast. We're used to the runs we were already going a fast top speed, so the runs were would come slow. You you'd get a two or three mile an hour advantage to make a run. Now you're talking six, seven, eight mile an hour faster than the cars in front of you. These runs are just coming so much faster. Um, and it's, I think, I think, I'm speculating, but I think it's going to 
create a lot more aggressive racing and, and potentially more wrecks. So <laughs> it's going to be even more important to, to miss the big wrecks. Absolutely. Question. The side draft still in fact. Yeah, the side draft still works. I don't think it works to the same degree that it used to because now we have
Logan wouldn't let him keep my cut mine off. His no, uh, he when he came with his car back, he came up from the people that were like, "Where is like the place? place? Don't do it until we get to the hotel." He said, "This is basically what the answer was." Well, that might be more difficult than it looks. It's probably oh, well. rubber. I can hardly look. I need some water. I'm getting dehydrated. Yeah, next year I'm getting tickets down by the finish line. If I come back here, I'm. We bought a package that had pit passes in the whole line. Oh, great. Everything was combined, so we got them. You got a great deal. I got a little. There's nothing cheap about it. You've been here before? How long does it take to get it's out of here? You can do for the, what you want. Yeah. Thank you. So sorry. Okay. Him, Thank you. First Hold on. Pretty much relaxed. So I think it's going to stuck out for a while. Okay. okay. Hot hot you do. Thank did, you. We did a hot pass in that Mustang. Oh, yeah? Me and him. When we hit turn three, I swear to God, we were doing 160 miles an hour. I bet that Mustang had 220 I miles an hour. I couldn't move my arms when I was doing it. I was in the backseat looking at it. He was doing 160 going around turn three. That's awesome. Man, it was as fast as I ever been in the car. <laughs> this is the time of my life. They got them one. They gave me water. They gave. I, they gave. I, they got Fiends water. obsession. Oh, Download Best Fiends for free. Oh. Best friends without the R. Best Fiends. Oh. Well, finally home. <laughs> 